controls over to Sirius XM's Mad Dog Radio host, Chris Mad Dog Russo, on Sirius XM E Street Radio. Hi, everybody. Christopher Mad Dog Russo, and welcome to E Street Radio. I am your guest DJ for the illustrious third time, and that is quite an honor uh, to have an hour with you here on this uh, busy uh, winter into spring as we get ready for a Big Blues tour off a Big Blues album. Nice to have you with us, of course. Mad Dog Unleashed 2 to 7 on Mad Dog Radio on Channel 86. You can hear us on a daily basis. But that's not the idea now, sports. I can break down Giants, Patriots, and the cows come home. And, you know, whether Iona deserves an at-large bid in the NCAA tournament. That's not what the deal is here today. The deal is is to find some Bruce for you and to find a little different angle. Now, listen, I can play Born to Run and Rosalita and Thunder Road and Jungle Land and, uh, you know, Darkness on the Edge of Town and Badlands and Promise. I can play any group of those songs that you want over the last 30 years, and we all can rock and roll. So I was trying to find a little theme for our day today, and I'm in the process of reading this Spencer Tracy biography, which came out in October. The legendary actor won back-to-back -back Oscars in the late 30s, nine Oscar nominations, uh, and, you know, uh, obviously Cap and Hepburn's relationship for 26 years. Now, Bruce loves the old-time movies, Thunder Road, of course, or Robert Mitchum movie, those kinds of things. So I try to find an angle there in Bruce's songs to old-time old movie references, and I had trouble finding 12, but I did find one. Because Spencer Tracy liked Joan Fontaine. Big friends, try to date her in the early 50s. So we will start a little DJ hour with Does This Bus Stop? 882nd Street. Oh, fuck, you know I gotta make some sports in. Uh, where I did a Phillies uh, Dodger playoff game. And I stayed for the game. Phillies won a pennant that night, 11 6 against the Dodgers, the year the Yankees won a World Series in 09. And driving home from Philadelphia to Connecticut, where I live, I hadn't heard this song in a long time. And I have four children, all young, and I said, geez, I better keep my eyes open and roll down the window to make sure that I am not a wreck on the highway. This song is a very underrated song. Hi, everybody. Christopher Russo from uh, Mad Dog Radio, Channel 86, guest DJing here on E Street Radio. Nice to have you with us. Thanks for joining us here as we uh, take you through a good hour. Uh, you know, this song is, to me, is a very underrated song. And it was part of the uh, tracks tour, which Bruce did it near the end, where he had it lined up and orchestrated absolutely superbly, uh, with each band member going to the microphone, giving his little verse, and away they went. And the best one was Niels Lofgren, who's got a wonderful voice. And I, I just love the song, and I, I, you don't hear it often. I, I don't even hear it much on this channel, and I listen all the time. Believe me, forget my channel on that with that. I listen to this. But I, this song uh, is, is a moving song to me. So I figured, and you know, with the changing in the East Street Band, with the two passings in the last couple of years with Federici and uh, Clarence, I thought this might fit well, uh, If I Shall Fall Behind. This is E Street Radio with your guest DJ, Chris Mad Dog Russo. All right, let's uh, rock you out a little bit. Um, you know, I, I was very anti-giant after they won this past Super Bowl. You know, Wes Welker's got to make the catch, and Gronkowski not healthy, blah, blah, blah. Two fumbles on the ground. And I had every Giant fan known to man annoyed that I would not give uh, the Giants their due for winning their fourth championship, second in four years, Eli Coughlin the whole bit. And I like the Giants. I love the Maras, love the family, like everything about them. But that game annoyed me for some reason. And I, I got the funny feeling by Friday they would have liked to have put a little code on me. A code of silence. <laughs> Underrated Bruce song. Doesn't get played very... I don't hear this very often either. Uh, this is, you know, a Bruce fan's Bruce song. You know what I mean? Uh, and, you know, sometimes when you're uh, at the grocery store with a six-year-old, a nine-year-old, a 12-year-old, and they're all, you know, one guy wants Apple Jacks, this guy wants this, that guy wants Swiss cheese, the other guy wants... Ah, uh, drives you crazy. Takes you forever. A 20-minute excursion takes you four hours. You can forget your Saturday afternoon tennis game. Uh, it doesn't quite fit what Bruce is talking about here, but the feeling is the same. I'm trapped. A 13-year-old who plays, uh, you know, travel basketball, and nothing 
drives me crazier than watching. And you can't say anything as a parent. You got to sit there and you got to, you know, you can't yell at the refs. You can't get mad at the coach. He's not playing enough, and you got to be encouraging. You know how it goes. You got kids that drive you nuts. And me as a sports fan, I want them to be Michael Jordan and Kobe all wrapped up in a one. Uh, but you know what drives me crazy? When he shies away from toughness. Dive on a floor for a loose ball. Go hard to the basket. Get an offensive rebound. Box out. Be tough. You know what? Be tougher than the rest. This is E Street Radio with your guest DJ, Chris Mad Dog Russo. Now, my other children may not be as athletically inclined, and I could care less if they get F in math. Just go out there and hit a baseball, kick a soccer ball, play well, hit a tennis ball, hit a 150-yard drive the whole bit. But I have a couple of my children, names will remain anonymous, who can't walk and chew gum at the same time. And when I go to some of those games, and I got to sit out there on a cold Saturday frigid watching a soccer game, you know what? I wish I was blind. I heard that uh, we take care of our home as a single, and I am not computer savvy by any stretch of the imagination. I came home, and I made my two boys... Get on that website. Uh, yeah, I don't know how to do it. Do it. Uh, backstreets.org, Bruce, whatever it is, Springsteen.net. Get on that website, and we are playing this song. Okay? Playing it. And then I was away the day of the Grammys on that Sunday down in the Caribbean, Turks and Caicos. And I said, my wife, semi Bruce fan, younger than I am, you know, either get it sometimes or you don't. Uh, but she got it because at 8 o'clock, we made sure we saw Bruce open up. And so my kids and my wife, with We Take Care of Our Own, finally realized how good he was. They had living proof. Song, we don't hear this often, underrated song. Don't hear it often. And I, I was thinking about all the folks out there. You know, we do a lottery here at the uh, Sirius XM Umbrella for folks to try to go to the March 9th show at the Apollo Theater. Uh, you know, and 50 lucky ones, 50 pairs get a chance. And, of course, all the subscribers, 175,000 who, you know, joined up, uh, serious subscribers since the middle of January to get tickets to this event. Uh, if you are so fortunate to be there on that Friday night, March 9th, and, you know, Bruce opens up, away, 815, 820, and he's raring to go, and you are too, just consider yourself that night a gambling man. And you're there because... Really, when you get right down to it, a roll of the dice. This is E Street Radio with your guest DJ, Chris Mad Dog Russo. Well, February is always the sort of, and early March is sort of the dog days of the wintertime, although the winter this year has not been that bad if you're in the Northeast, at least. The dog days of the wintertime, uh, you know, there's not, if you're a sports fan especially, geez, you know, getting from the Super Bowl to Selection Sunday is a major five week undertaking. But, Bruce has livened it up for us a little bit, has he not? Where he gives you something to look forward to. And as we end our little hour together, uh, and thanks for uh, taking part here on uh, our guest DJ thing on East Street Radio, don't forget Mad Dog Unleashed every day 2 to 7, a shameless plug over there on Channel 86. Uh, but when we get ready for March in sports, we get ready for good things, the NCAA and the Masters Golf and baseball and all those things. And now in March, we also get ready for sort of some Bruce juice. So we can all look forward to, as we say goodbye, better days. 